Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to add webinar kit registrants via webbook, create active campaign contact and send SMS alerts. So I am hosting a webinar and I have created a form with the help of which all my participants are going to register themselves in the webinar that I'm hosting. So I've created this form using an application which is not integrated with Pabli Connect. So to create the integration between Pabli Connect and the application, we are going to be using Web by Pabli. So here what I want is that as soon as by any of my participants, a new form submission is going to be done and we're going to receive a webbook response. I want to create that participant as a registrant in my webinar kit account webinar that I've created. And as I'm going to create that participant as a registrant in my webinar kit account, Account, I want to create a contact of that registrant in my active campaign account as well and with that I also want to send them the registrants follow-up SMS and if I'm going to do all of this manually it is going to take me a lot of time so what I did was I simply created an automation using public edit which is an amazing automation and integration software so if you want to learn about this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we're going to learn how to add webinar kit registrants via webbook, create active campaign contact and send SMS alerts. So I am hosting a webinar recently with hundreds of potential participants registering, manually adding each one of them in my CRM and sending them follow up messages can be overwhelming and time taking. So by using this amazing integration, you can automatically add each registrant from your webinar kit to active campaign as a contact, segmenting them for the targeted follow ups. Additionally, you can set up SMS notifications to keep them informed about the important updates and changes. This ensures that your participant stays engaged and well informed, enhancing their overall experience and increasing their likelihood of successful conversations for your webinar. And we're going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A new dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of the workflow, I'm going to give it as Add Webinar Kit registrants via webbook, create active campaign contact and send SMS alerts. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created these folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click right over here. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select automations for a webinar as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create and on to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of add webinar kit registrants via webbook, create active campaign contact and send SMS alerts and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, they can only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step for that click right over here and for the trigger application what we are going to do is we are going to select it as webbook by Pabli. So what is webbook by Pabli? So suppose I am using an application with the help of which I am collecting my registrants information and I have created a form using that application. Now that application that I am using is not integrated with Pabli Connect. So to create the integration between Pabli Connect and the application that we are using 
we are going to use this amazing feature by pabli connect that is webhook by pabli okay so that is why for the trigger application we are going to select it as webhook by pabli and next it is asking for us to select the trigger event which is going to be catch webhook preferred okay after selecting the trigger application and the event you can see that pabli connect has provided us with the webhook url with the help of this unique webhook url we are going to connect the application with pabli connect okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this url from here this url is going to work as a bridge between the application and public connect okay so just for the example of this use case i'm going to be using public form builder with the help of which i've created a form and i want that i want to connect public form builder to public connect so that whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of my registrants using public form builder automatically and instantly public connect should capture the response of the form submission being done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the form that i've created using public form builder to public connect okay and remember public form builder is actually integrated with public connect but just for the example of this use case i am going to be using public form builder okay so this is the form that i have created using public form builder in the name of contact form and i want that as soon as by any of my registrants they are going to do the form submission using this contact form right away that i have created using public form builder automatically public connect should capture the response so we are going to create a connection between public connect and public form builder with the help of the webhook for that we click on this edit button right away from the settings so this is the edit page of this form you can see right over here from the left side of this panel you have to click on this integration after selecting integration you will be landed towards the page over here on the page it is going to say webhooks under these options okay so this is the webhooks page and we are going to create a connection between the form that we have created using public form builder with public connect with the help of the webhook okay for that click on this create webhook button a new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for us to add a webhook so i'm going to paste the webhook url over here that public connect has provided us after pasting the webhook url we have to click on this save button as you have done that you can see a webhook has now been added to the form that we have created using pabli form builder that means the connection between web by pabli and the application is successful using this webhook url okay so as we have done the connection i'm going to go back to the form that i've created so this is the form that i've created you can see right over here and now we want to check whether the form that we have created is successfully connected to public connect or not for that what we are going to do is we are going to do the test submission of this form that we have created for that this is the form that i've created i'm going to click on this share button as i'm going to click on it this shareable link is provided to us of the form so i'm going to copy this link from here and i'm going to open this link in a new tab right over here to do the test submission of the form that we have created so now we're going to do the test submission it is asking for the first name of our registrant so for the first name of my registrant i'm going to select it as smart for the last name over here i'm going to write it as test45 for the email over here i'm going to write it as smart test 45 at the rate pablitude.com and for the phone number i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number okay after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the submit to do the test submission as you can see it says your message has been received this means this form submission the test submission is successful okay so i'm going to open the workflow that i've created and i'm going to scroll down and you can see right over here we have successfully received the response of the form submission of the test submission that we have done using pabli form builder in our webhook by pabli response right over here we're going to tally the response of the first name of our registrant being smart last name as test45 email as smart test45 at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number and all the other details so this means that web by pabli is now been successfully set up that means the application and the public and it is now successfully connected and our trigger setup is done so now whenever by any of our registrants a form submission is going to be done with the help of application that we have used automatically we are going to receive the webhook response in our trigger step okay so as the trigger setup is done we are going to set up our action step now our objective is that that as we are going to receive the webhook response we want to add that registrant in our webinar kit account because with the help of webinar kit i'm managing all the webinar that i'm hosting okay so for the action application what we are going to do is we are going to select it as webinar kit so i'm going to select my action application as webinar kit and for the action event i'm going to select it as new webinar registration as now we're going to create a new registration in the webinar that we have created using webinar kit 
ਪੋਸਟ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਅਕਾਊਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਹੋਸਟਿੰਗ ਅ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਪਬਲੀ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਰਜਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਫॉर ਦ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਿਲੈਕਟਿਡ ਇਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਐਂਡ ਫॉर ਦ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਐਸ ਨਿਊ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਰਜਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਟੂ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਟੂ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਵਿੰਡੋਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਪੀਅਰ ਔਨ ਵਿਚ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਐਡ ਨਿਊ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਔਰ ਐਲਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਿਲੈਕਟ ਦ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਥੈਟ ਓਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਦ ਟੋਕਨ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਹੈਲਪ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਟੋਕਨ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਟੂ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਟੋਕਨ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਓਪਨ ਆਰ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਅਕਾਊਂਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਓਪਨਿੰਗ ਆ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਅਕਾਊਂਟ ਦਿਸ ਇਸ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਵੈਬਨਾਰ ਕਿਟ ਅਕਾਊਂਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਓਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਟੂ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਦ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਦ ਸੈਟਿੰਗਸ ਬਟਨ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਸੈਟਿੰਗਸ ਇਫ ਆਮ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਸਕ੍ਰੋਲ ਡਾਊਨ as we go to scroll down on the bottom you can see it says api access and this is the api key provided to us so i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste this token right over here and then i'm going to click on the save button as you can see that webinar kit is now fully connected to public connect after connecting webinar kit to public connect over here it is asking for us to select the webinar id in which we are going to create the new registration so i've created a webinar in the name of pabli webinar so what i'm going to do is from this drop down i'm going to select over here the webinar that i've created that is pabli webinar okay you need to select your own webinar from the given options on this drop down okay next it is asking for the email address of our registration that we are creating for the email or address of our registration what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as i go to click on this field right away you can see this was the previous step of this workflow that is web probably i'm going to click on it and you can see that this was the same response that was captured in our previous step it is asking for the registrant's email address in the response we have received the registrant's email address that is right over here so from this previous response i'm going to select the data of the email address as a selected data the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data similarly for the first name i'm going to map the data of the first name for the last name i'm going to map the data of the last name right over here it is asking for the country code i don't require the field so i'm going to skip the part for the phone number i'm going to map the data of the phone number right over here it is asking all the custom fields right over here i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part it is asking for the webinar presentation date on which date this webinar is going to be held okay so i have created a webinar and the webinar is going to be held on the date of 30th august 2024 time being 12 pm american new york time zone okay so this is the time right over here on which the webinar is going to be followed up so what we are going to do is for the webinar presentation date we need to enter the date in this format that is right over here so what we are going to do is to have the format right away we're going to add another action step on this workflow by clicking on the plus button and for the action application we are going to select as date slash time format by pabli because with the help of this amazing feature by pabli can it we can format the date and the time according to our requirement for the action event i'm going to select as format date with time zone and then i'm going to click on this connect button after clicking on connect you can see that it is asking for the date that we want to change the format with time zone off so for the date over here i'm going to enter the date of the webinar that i've created right over here that is 30th august 2024 for the time being 12 pm of american new york time zone so what i'm going to do is for the date over here i'm going to write it as so this is the date at time that i've entered that is 30th august 2024 with the time being 120000 so this is the date format right over here it is asking for the from format so the format is dd mm y y y y h h m m n s s so for the from format i'm going to select this format right over here that is d d m m y y y y h h m m n s s so i'm going to select this from format right over here whichever format of the date and time you go to enter right over here you have to select that format over here for the from format field okay next it is asking for the two format and we want the utc time zone format right over here so i'm going to select the two format as the utc time zone format right over here okay it is asking for the two time zone so i've created a event for the time zone of american new york right over here so what we are going to do is for the time zone over here i'm going to select it as america new york okay and for the two time zone i'm going to select it as etc slash utc as we want to enter the date with the time in a utc time zone format okay and then i'm going to click on the save and send test request button in the response we are going to receive the date and time in a utc time zone format so what we are going to do is for the webinar presentation date for the result of that i'm going to map the date of the date that we have received in our previous step okay after filling all the required details i'm going to click on this save and send test request button 
as i'm going to do that we're going to receive a response which is a positive response that means a registration a new registration is done in the webinar that we have created using webinar kit so i'm going to open my webinar kit account so this is my account right over here and to check whether the registration of the new member is done in this account what i'm going to do is so this is the webinar that i've created you can see pably webinar to check whether the registration is done or not i'm going to click on this arrow from these options if you click on this view analytics as we're going to do that we're going to scroll down and you can see that over here as i've scrolled down under registrations this is a new registration that has been created in the name of smart test 45 with the email as smart test 45 at the rate publicitudes.com with the dummy mobile number so this means that we fully created the registration in our webinar kit account using the webhook response okay so now as the registration is done of the new registrant we want to now add that registrant in my active campaign account as a contact so that i can manage the details of all my registrants using active campaign okay so now to create the contact in our active campaign account we go to add another action step to this workflow and for the action app application i'm going to select it as active campaign and for the action event we're going to select it as create or update contact so if the registrant if the registrant is a new registrant and the contact is not there in my active campaign of that registrant so the contact is going to be created but if the registrant is an existing contact in my active campaign account it is going to be updated okay after selecting the action application and the event i'm going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that over here it is asking for the api key and the url now to have the access of the api key and the url we need to open our active campaign account so this is my active campaign account you can see right over here and now to have the accesses of the api key and the url what we are going to do is from the left side of the panel you have to click on this settings button as we're going to click on settings and the settings you have to click on this developers button as we're going to click on developers the api access under which the url and the key is provided so what i'm going to do is firstly i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste the api key right over here next it is asking for the url in the url it says we have to paste the url without the https and all the symbols right away so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this url from here paste it right over here and i'm going to remove this https from the front of this url and then i'm going to click on the save button as you can see that active campaign has now been connected to public connect after connecting it is asking for the details of the contact that we are creating for the email i'm going to map the date of the email of my contact right over here for the first name i'm going to map the date of the first name of my contact last name the last name of my contact that is right over here for the phone number i'm going to map the date of the phone number okay it is asking for the tag id i'm going to select the tag id that i've created in my active campaign account for the list i'm going to select the list that i've created right over here for the account id i do not require the account id so i'm going to skip the part similarly i don't have the job title so i'm going to skip this field as well right over here after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button as i'm going to do that you can see we are going to receive a response if you can i'm going to show you the response this is a positive response this means a contact has now been created in our active campaign account so i'm going to open my active campaign account from the left side of the panel i'm going to click on this contacts button so this is the contacts page and you can see right over here new contact in the name of smart test 05 email address as smart test 05 at the rate public dot short with the dummy mobile number has been added to my active campaign account so this means that now the contact has also been created in our active campaign account now as the requirement of our use case we want to send an sms to our registrants to notify them that they are been successfully added as a registrant to the webinar that i am hosting so what we are going to do is to send the sms to my registrants i am going to add another action step to this workflow and i will be sending the sms with the help of twilio so i'm going to select my action application as twilio right over here and for the action event i will be selecting it as send sms message as i will be sending sms to all of my registrants using twilio okay after that i'm going to click on this connect button to connect twilio to public connect 
then a new window is going to appear on which you can select the existing connection but I'm going to add a new connection so I'm going to select the option it is asking for the account SID authorization token and account SID as well so to have the access of the account SID what we are going to do is we're going to open our Twilio account so this is my Twilio account dashboard right over here and in the dashboard under account information we have the account SID and the authorization token so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this account SID from here and I'm going to paste it right over here as well as right over here okay it is asking for the authorization token so this is the authorization token I'm going to copy this from here and paste it right over here after filling in all the required details I'm going to click on the save button as you can see that Twilio is now successfully connected to Pabli connect after connecting it is asking for the body of the SMS sender number and the recipient number so for the body of the SMS we need to enter the body that we're going to send as a message as an SMS to all of our registrants so for the body of the SMS right away I'm going to write it as so this is the body of the SMS that I want to send to my registrant it says hello hello next to the hello it is asking for the name of our registrant so I'm going to map the data first name space the last name of my registrant thank you for registering for our Pabli webinar on 38 August 2024 at 9.30 p.m. as I'm going to convert the American New York time zone to Asia Kolkata time zone the timing is 9.30 p.m. we are excited to have you join us see you soon so this is the body of the SMS that I want to send to my registrant okay next it is asking for the sender's number we are going to receive the sender's number in our Twilio account so this is the sender's number right away I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to paste it right over here okay next it is asking for the recipient number on which number do we want to send a message to for the recipient number I'm going to map the data of the number that we have received of a registrant right over here okay after that it says save and send test request button but before clicking on this button you can see right away in place of this recipient number I have mapped the data of a number which is a dummy number so a SMS cannot be forwarded on this number right away so what I'm going to do is just for the example I'm going to enter my mobile number in place of the recipient numbers so an sms can be forwarded on my number so i'm going to add in my mobile number right over here as successfully added my mobile number in place of the recipient mobile number i'm going to click on save and send test request button as i'm going to do that you can see we have received a response which is a positive response so now i'm going to show you the sms i'm going to show you the screenshot of the sms that i've received on my mobile number to check whether we successfully received the message or not so i'm going to show you the screenshot of the sms that i've received and you can see right over here I have received the SMS it says hello smart test 45 thank you for registering for our Pabli webinar on the date and time we are excited to have you join us see you soon so this is the SMS that has been forwarded in my number with the help of Twilio in this SMS you can see it says send from Twilio trial account as the account that I'm using is a trial account so the message that I'm going to receive is with the code right away that is sent from your Twilio trial account but if you're going to use the paid account account of your Twilio you're going to receive a message without this code right away you're going to receive this direct message right over here okay so as we have received the SMS successfully this means that we successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect so now to sum up till now what we have done I am hosting webinar recently and I'm managing all my webinars using webinar kit so on my website I have created a form using an application which is not integrated with Pabli Connect so to create the integration between in the application and Pabli Connect, I have used Webupay Pabli. I want that that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my registrant using the form that I've created using the application, automatically with the help of the response that we're going to receive in Pabli Connect, the webhook response. Firstly, I want to add that registrant as a new registration in the webinar that I've created using Webinar Kit. And as the registration is going to be done, I want to add that registrant as a contact in my active campaign account, and with that. That I want to send a follow-up SMS alerts to my registrant using Twilio and for that I've created this amazing automation between Web Web Pabli, Webinar Kit, Active Campaign and Twilio with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is how you create this amazing automation. So if you like this video please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.